next thing we're going to talk about is uh, the formation phase and it's really important that you need to know this the reason why i'm saying this is because when you create a bv you can do some things in the formation phase i advise you not to do it but you can do it if the formation phase if the formation of the bv is taking too long you can do it so um let's look at it formation phase bv in operation it is possible to start trading before you have set up your private limit com company provided you as you are registered in a KVK commercial register and a civil law notary certify to be handling the incorporation on your behalf. You may then operate as a private limited company on the incorporation in Dutch PV in operating or PV. Okay, this is interesting. Make sure you clearly state that you are acting on behalf of a BV in operating when entering into any contract with business partners. Any contracts are entered into as a legal entity in formation. You are personally liable for your action on behalf of the BV in operating. Once the BV have been, has been established, you can transfer contracts to your BV subject to agreement from the other party. I'll explain it soon. Sometimes so proprietorships, so Amanzak appended BV operating to their name because they are in the process of incorporating their business. Be aware that you are entering into agreement as so proprietorship or Amanzak when you are signing a contract in this phase. Okay, let's talk about this. So let's say you are creating your BV and this is you so this is you you're creating your BV and the notary is taking long and in this phase while they are creating it in this phase so you are starting from here and here then your BV so this is the start it's the finish in this phase you can sign contract you can buy things you can do a lot of things but it's important when you sign the contract that you put in the contract that you are doing this on behalf of the BV. Because when this is formed, every contract that you signed before that has this in it, you can verify it. And then you as a person is not, you as a person are not liable for the contract, but the BV. So you sign it on behalf of the BV, the BV say, okay, yeah, you sign it on behalf of me. Okay, I agree. So the BV signed the contract technically. I hope I you understand this. It isn't that complicated, but just remember when you, there is an um, incorporation phase, you can sign a contract, but you need to do this. And they said it clear in this description. Yeah. So you can do things, you can buy things, you can do a lot of things, but you need to make sure that you sign it on behalf of the BV. Afterwards, you can still say, okay, I'm, I'm here on behalf of the BV, I need to sign it. That's something you need to keep in mind. If you do not do this, if something goes wrong, they will go after you as a person, not after the BV. Keep that in mind. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be great